on next, but right now, you know, Jackson's been sitting here for for a hot minute, so better put this man on stream. So who's Fallen gonna play today? All right, so playing the Mega Man, not going for the Minecraft Steve, but yeah, he went Mega Man against me today too. I think he's trying to go all Mega Man. Okay, oh, interesting. Actually, no, because I've seen the Steve against Fatality. I'm not sure. He played Steve in doubles as well. But yeah. Right, let's see. All right, so right off the bat, you know, these two just kind of going at it, not really playing playing any sort of patience. One thing you'll notice about Jax is his spacing is actually amazing. You know, he, he definitely utilizes that floatiness from Lucina and, you know, it makes you think like he's about to land, but it's like just that extra like few frames before he like throws out an aerial. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's really something you have to utilize against Mega Man. Well, he utilizes it in any matchup, really. No, I know, but especially against a character like this, who's so good at uh, pressuring you in the air with pellets and even like forward air and back air. I mean, using that floatiness to advantage is so smart. Yeah. Fallen, looking really solid right now. Okay, he doesn't get that spy. Looking pretty close, though. Jax jumping off that platform. Doesn't want to get carried up by those up airs. Right now. All right, Jax able to find a forward air, but nothing too much off that. Ooh, great up smash. Yeah, that was a great one out of shield. Yeah, kind of catching the short hops coming from Jax. Just ready for it. Yeah, I feel like that is the one problem with Lucina, one of the problems with Lucina is that it gets very linear with her with what she's trying to do in a lot of situations. So. Well, yeah, she, she, I mean, you know, like Lucina definitely being a much more like uh, neutral based character, like like she can space, she can like run up grab, but um, definitely uh, definitely has all the tools I think to you know not have too many bad matchups. And then Fallen right now, looking really clean with the movement, the pellets, and everything. Keeping them at the ledge. Ooh, just some spaces out of a smash, but I think Fallen would have been able to shield that anyway. That was Backer. such a great back throw there, honestly. It, 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 it's really good seeing Fallen being able to keep so many people in off stage constantly. While, like, also being able to use all his resources completely optimally. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, reads the roll, but not able to connect that back there. Is what's the okay? Nice. You know, a lot of people uh, when they don't take that, Jax is always uh, sure to follow up on it. Or maybe he just kind of throws it out preemptively. Yeah. But but I think it catches tech in place as well in roll in. Ooh, so I love that. I love what he tried to do there with the leap shield. He tried to see if Jax were going to fastball there, so he would charge F smash. Right. Unfortunately, he didn't can, but that's still very. Very uh, interesting. Dude, Jax just like kind of brought this back with that whole like advantage like right there. He just brought it right back to 81. When Jax gets a conversion, it's definitely scary. Ooh, okay, that backer gonna seal that stock, but honestly, it still could be anyone's game. Oh, this man ran across his age, wants nothing to do with it. Yeah, Leaf Shield being such a good option on Shield. It's really, really hard to punish. I don't even think you can punish him at all, but. Nice, nice nair. Ooh, goes deep for the back air. It scares him enough to take that stock. Yeah. So, pretty much even it back up. And Jack's looking a lot better than he was his first stock. And, yep, yeah, already taking the lead. What's Fallen going to do here? Ooh, goes up the Tomahawk, but doesn't, uh, doesn't turn around. So he is going to whip that grab. Jack's taking full control. Tomahawk of his own. Yeah, this is definitely starting to get really scary for Fallen. He has to find his way out and put Jax back in disadvantage. And he get a leaf shield there, just some big damage. Yeah, but the way Fallen's playing, he's also playing really solid, so... I, it's really hard to say who's going to take this game. Both these players are playing so well. Yeah. Jax is definitely, like, really turned this around, though, for him, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Off stage, puts the forces in the ledge. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to go for the chum, but I guess fakes it. Force an option. Okay. All right. Doesn't get punished for that, but nice parry on that forward smash. Yeah, Jack's just taking his time. And Fallen looking for these spikes, but not really able to find them. We've seen his upbeat coming out so quick, and good stuff on Jack's waiting at that time. You know, not really wanting to risk it. Oh, the tomahawk, but he doesn't believe. Oh, okay. Okay, just go for the S smash. Opts for the back air instead. Yeah, it's 
position. Ooh, tries to read. Oh, both of them, both of them whiff. Oh god. Okay, runs at the grab, uh, but you know, not really sending him anywhere. Honestly, I would say that Jax is also relatively at kill percent. I mean, if, if Fall oh. with Mega Man or H, oh. he gets one thing. But yeah, and right there, I think uh, he tried to go for the up smash. Oh, going deep. Man. He might not even need up smash. He can find a confirmed with Metal Blade and up smash too. There's so many ways that Mega Man can set up kills. Oh, that was so scary. Yeah, oh, nice. Right. Catches him. Yeah, we're, we're so close to the players, I, I almost don't want to say like what they're doing wrong <laughs> before they like overhear me. It's like, I, I want to give like informative commentary, like, oh yeah, he fell for this because this happened, but like they're right there. I mean... So it's like, man. Yeah. Sorry for being too quiet on the mic, by the way. I have a little bit of sore throat tonight. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. No, that's all good. All right, so where is this counter pick going? Uh, um, I never pay attention to the stage they choose, but yeah. Okay, so just going back to PS2. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, really. You can't go wrong with PS2. All right, great pressure coming out from uh, Fallen on this platform. Fallen's platform pressure is so good. I honestly still don't know what to do about that when you just start up airing on the platform and it's like, yeah, wait, I mean, I'm stuck in shield. You just gotta do your best to like, you know, get out. And you know, if you get caught jumping in that, you know, you go way high. But I guess that lower percent is not as scary. Definitely at the higher one, that'll carry you up. Leap shield off the ledge, Relative, pretty safe. Jax, find that down air, putting him to the edge again. Let's see, with the down smash, all right. Not gonna take the stock, but really good percent on him right now. And Jax, you know, always trying to cover these jump options, really conditioning Fallen to not jump off ledge. So he can kind of like preemptively like cover another option, and that was great. Yeah, that was a great recovery great there, neutral. using that off the ledge. Yeah, it was a great mix up. He hasn't used that last set, so Fallen was not ready for that. Wasn't ready for that up tilt either. Jax looking really solid on this game. Okay, good stuff on Jax. Great awareness knowing that the last hit wouldn't connect, so he stopped it early. Nice Fallen. back there. there. Well, you know, Fallen's going for a lot of these, uh, all these tomahawks, but, you know, the last few haven't really been working out for him, I feel like. Oh, that was a great F smash, though. It's kind of funny just seeing two Mega Man seats on one stream. Yeah. You can just look I over and you can see another one right over there. <laughs> yeah, Peep Nut. Keep over there. All right. Ooh, wow. Had the read, but just didn't react quite in time. Jax, all right. Countering just in case the, the option comes out. But... So what's gonna happen here? Oh, back here, clipping through the shield. Ooh, okay. Forces Jax to ledge. Gets the tech in that time. Doesn't want to uh, fall for that tech in place again, or miss that tech and get down smash. But that definitely want to seal the stock for him. But Jack's really overlapping him right now. Just putting on a clinic for Fallen right now. Yeah, this is not looking like for Fallen right now. He just can't find that kill. And, I mean, it's so. It, sometimes it really can be hard for Mega Man to get a kill, even with all his options, just because yeah. it can be so hard for him to catch someone if they're just out camping him. Yeah. And you know, um, Jax did have to play Peep Nut earlier, falling to Peep Nut uh, early in the bracket, so he, he, I'd like to think he, you know, he's pretty warmed up for the Mega Man matchup. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, he, he understands right now what to do. Ooh, nice combo coming out of Fallen. Fallen can definitely still take this, but Jax, man, so impressive. I love Cena. his use of down air there, he just gets such a good damage. Oh, unfortunate, not able to recover, but yeah. Yeah, Fallen, not, not, happy not, not happy about that one, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Jax, you know, super solid player. And like with, the, with, with Lucina, you know, with, with any character, like, definitely not like a cheesy character, I don't think. Yeah. Definitely plays to the strengths, but yeah. Surprised we didn't see the Steve at all. I feel like he's been playing a lot of the Steve lately, but just I mean, decided to opt out of it for this matchup. Yeah, Steve might do worse against Lucina just because he, he has even less mobility. He can't really like 